I am joined uh, by one of the senior players uh, of Mamilo Design Downs, uh, Musa Nibusa. Musa, just getting into this, um, what's quite essential for this particular match is that fans will be allowed. Um, just, just your thoughts on having the fans uh, back into the stadium in particular with such an important uh, competition as we capture this. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I think it's a, it's a massive boost for, for us and uh, for, for the football lovers as well in the, in the country. And um, we, we miss playing out with the fans. And I think uh, it's, it's going to be a great game for us, um, even for the fans as well. And it's gonna, probably going to be some of us going to be first time we come after such a long time. And uh, we're really happy that finally we don't get to, we get to play in front of them. Thank you, sir. Uh, colleagues, it is over to you for your questions. Uh, if you might kindly ask that you raise your hands, identify the media house that you represent. We take questions both virtually as well as on the floor. Let us start uh, here in the room. If you have any questions, please go ahead, producer. Yes, uh, Mr. Benny Lefebvre, Sports Director. Uh, last year, you were in a similar position when you look at this kind of game. Um, top sport was secured, qualification was good. And obviously, the coaches felt that they had to give um, game time to other players. Unfortunately, you couldn't finish with a 100% record uh, due to the result of CRB at the time. Um, how do you feel um, tomorrow's game against Adelaide looking at that? Yeah, almost everything is similar to this. I think um, we we learn from what happened last season, and uh, we don't want that to happen again. You know, um, we try our own means. We try our own means to to get hundred percent record in the group stages. Yeah, it's not going to be easy. Um, one would say, uh, but just because we already qualified, and we we have to take our foot off the pedal and. But that's not the case with us, and I think I will go give it our all and make sure that we get um, 100% record. Thank you very much, Musa. Uh, there are still no hands virtually. Rabu, please go ahead. Thank you. Uh, good morning, Musa. I hope you're good. Uh, I think this season, you guys have already done a lot in terms of the Champions League and the as well. Would this season be a failure if you guys do not uh, win the Champions League? Because a lot of respect for me. And for the reasons Suman also spoken about, uh, that you know, Sundance has now beaten us in a way because you did that. Would this be a failure if you guys do not win the Champions League this season? I don't know if that would be a failure, but you know, we we just focus on our process. You know, we try uh, to play each one game at a time and uh, try to win every game that we play. You know, yeah, some games are difficult. You know, we, we don't, we, you won't get the result that you are looking for, but uh, we'll try to give it our own. And um, as the season being a failure, if not doing the Champions League, um, I don't think so. You know, we, we try, we, when we step on the pitch, we, we give it our all. Sometimes we don't win games, but uh, that doesn't define us. You know, we we'll try again if, if it happens that we don't win. But uh, I think this, this season uh, we still have a very good chance. You know, we've been performing well. The guys have really showed up, and uh, uh, we we really, really um, gave everything. And uh, some and most of the teams are aware of what we are capable of. I mean, we went to Cairo and uh, came with three points. And not many teams have done that, but I think we still have a long way to go. Thank you very much, Musa. I see there's a hand virtually from Zinken Guban. Zinken, please go ahead. Please go ahead. Um, good morning, guys. Uh, my name is Zinken Guban from Highway Road in Devon. Um, I just want to ask here, um, since the PSL gave us a go-ahead in terms of the fans um, returning to the stadium is from tomorrow, um, how are you guys taking that as the players? Do you think Corey, it's a good idea um, taking that there's only a few games left um, on DSTV as well as that last, uh, tomorrow it's your last game on the CAF and you have the NetBank Cup? Um, do you think it was a good idea um, for the fans to return uh, on the remaining games or 
do you think, I mean, I mean, or are you happy with that uh, decision? Yeah, I mean, that's, uh, we've been waiting to have our fans to play in front of our fans. And I think uh, even though it's uh, last few games of the season, but uh, we, we're really happy that our fans, um, they'll, be, they'll be there to watch us. I mean, it's been uh, a couple of seasons playing in front of our fans. You know, we miss their singing, their support, and hopefully um, they'll, uh, they'll give us a boost when we go into Champions League games. Thank you very much. So we'll take one last question for Musa. If there are any takers. And um, how, how do you look at your group, um, the group that you are you're coming from? Um, because sometimes you, you also take it from these countries in terms of preparing you for uh, the local stages. Uh, in the other game, it's, it's still not conclusive uh, if it's Al Adi or it's Al Hilal. Um, how do you look at your group in terms of competitiveness and how did you prepare for the last stage? Yeah, our group is, was very really tough. You know, we, we had uh, three teams that really, really gave us, gave us run for money. And I think uh, what happens on the other side, it's, 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 it's really has nothing to do with us. You know, we just focus on, on what we have to do. And our group was, was very really tough. You know, we, we went to, to Cairo, spent two weeks and Fortunately, we came back with uh, four points and um, we came home and we did the job as well at home. So, like I said, uh, we, we just focused on us. We didn't really, we didn't really care on uh, which team does what, but it was mainly about us, what, what we need to do to get to the next stage. And that's what we did. Thank you very much, Musa. Excuse me, one last one from Tony. Sorry, thanks, Taba. I'm having a question from Ian today. Just quickly, um, how do you translate your success um, domestically and even on our continents to the national team? Um, we saw it happen on Tuesday, and there's always this conversation about um, you know, local players and how we do with against national, other national teams. How do you kind of translate that working success into something we are doing with that? Well, I think it, uh, it's two different teams. You know, national teams is um, it's made up of players from different teams, and as we spend more time together, you know, we, we know each other very well. We know each other's weaknesses and strengths. And uh, when you get to the national team, it's, you don't have that luxury. You know, you, you have to 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 learn about the player that will be playing next to you in, in such a short space of time. And I think that's the unfortunate part. But um, I think uh, it's a uh, the national team still has a, a little bit of long way to go. Obviously, it's a they, it's a step in the right direction. The guys um, they they start to play more. The young ones have been given a chance, and they I feel like they're doing well. But um, it's a uh, it's a little bit different, you know, from the national team and the standards. Thank you very much, colleagues. Uh, we will wrap up this part of the press conference. Thank you very much for the competition. Um,